welcome to episode 12 of LearnOrBurn.Tech, where in five minutes or less, we promise you will learn something useful to master your technology. I'm very enthusiastic about sharing the best online meeting platform in the world. And that's a very bold statement, I know. But just give me a moment and I'll share some of the many reasons I've got as to why that's the case. So first, it's not WebEx or GoToMeeting or join me. And neither is it Skype, nor FaceTime, nor Duo, even though each one of these probably has one thing that they do well. It's not even Adobe or the latest entrant by the name of Slack, who now does video as well. And it's not even Google Hangouts or Google Meet or whatever it'll be called next. The one product that rules them all for reasons of merit alone is called Microsoft NetMeeting. Oops, wrong century. No, the one product that rules them all is called Zoom. And even on Wikipedia, it has the most green, as you can see. All right, now that you believe me, I hope, let me summarize the top reasons for today why you might want to consider them both for personal and business reasons. Number one, the price is right. You can try it for free. And the free meetings just have a 40-minute limit. You can always start another one, but on a per meeting basis, it is limited to 40 minutes. It seems like a very fair way to try out a product without any dollars and cents commitments. Number two, security is done right. End-to-end -end encryption is available out of the box. That means the video and voice is more secure than a landline or a cellular phone call. Phone calls are already being eavesdropped on by our national surveillance authorities, whether we like it or not. So this is an important feature. Number three, the quality of the experience is simply fantastic. Judging video quality side by side is a little subjective, but I have never seen a better experience than Zoom video, and people I've turned on to Zoom say the same thing. When other variables are all the same, the limiting factor is usually each participant's upload or upstream bandwidth capacity. And from that perspective, it simply delivers the best experience. Number four, it's got a phone bridge. What that means is for those of us who need to participate when we have poor coverage areas or say very little data at all, you always have a way to dial in by phone. Now, provided you're not discussing anything confidential because of the ease of uh, surveillance, this is an extremely important feature for those that want to make sure that the audio quality never suffers uh, during the meeting, while video may suffer because of bandwidth congestion or whatever it may be. Number five, you have a native experience everywhere. This is no small feat technologically. Having a tool that works natively on iOS, natively on Android, on Mac, on Windows, and even on Chromebooks now. It is really incredible. Now, I use it with my kids. I use it in business. I use it with friends. And you should try it too. Tune into future episodes to see how we use it in various other use cases, including online learning classes, in business meetings, mobile support sessions. Those of us who are mobile business warriors, we do these things from the car, daily product development meetings, and many other features that uh, connect even entire boardrooms with a great iPad app called Zoom Rooms. See you again next week. Bye for now.